Ah. What are you looking so smugly self-satisfied for? You just failed. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. <laughs> that was <laughs> wow this is the end oh reported in your area potentially armed and hostile wow proceed mobilizing now right now that was brutal Holy Okay, now they can get out of there before they get eaten alive. Um, no time to talk. Snitch or double cross me, and I'll kill you. I mean it. For science. Getting caught is bad. Don't hunt Loki. Oh my god, G. She hunted Locust and killed her. Whoa. I'm not sure what happened there. Wow. What the hell? They really are like little head... That better not be a zombie in the uh, tank there. Uh... On second thought, I think a shower can wait. The hell? Let's go there. It is so cruel of them to put so many Makos right here and just not let me drive them. How dare you. So this is a colossal size map, which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game. 
and it is a an island plate style so it's kind of like tectonic plates that are generated as smaller islands instead of giant continents that looks good to me sir no i think we're gonna go with galaxy unless defiant is actually defiant's not too bad Let's stick with the galaxy, though. That looks good to me. Okay. Oh, boy. By popular opinion, your channel has gifted you 100 tame duck build platypus um execute order 66 oh good god Doesn't look scary at all. I expect there's gonna be zero problems with this. This is fine. This is gonna be totally okay. Surely this can't be a good idea. No kidding. Excuse me. What? Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again. It is really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um. Thanks, Auto Drive. Crap, it's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay. We're good. just did I got him wow that's amazing maybe archery doesn't completely suck up phenomenal oh and look at this I'm coming up right on a shrine that's really handy ah oh my god Wow. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. This is kind of encouraging. How's everything looking on your end? I'm playing on Ultra Max, everything set to the highest level it can possibly go to. It looks real good on my end. I do have, um, I do have the resolution set to 1080. I'm playing on 1080. So, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, 
Hey, I have not. I have not looted that, sir. Holy crap. That is some impressive precision building. How did that not take you three hours? <laughs> That is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know how it didn't take me three hours. Wow. You are nothing but a stupid, stupid. Okay, sir. Oh. Where the hell did he come from? Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Stony Pudu. Rana no prata don't know. Sarcha. It's you a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight, we've got a few changes, and we're going to be playing some Subnautica. So, we're going to get into Subnautica first, and we'll talk about the changes. Hey, Aaron Lore. How's it going? I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're doing better. What's going on? There we go, and we need the game. You're now so oh my god, Aaron Lor, I'm so sorry. You just cannot catch a break. What the hell is with this year? No, nope. big changes, but only little ones for tonight. Only little ones. First up, uh, I have modded Ultrasaurus. We talked about it kind of jokingly last night, but we talked about it more, and I went ahead and did it. So she's now a channel mod in the stream. Second, this is actually a change on Twitch's end, not on my end, but they've made it possible for people to run their ads and get the favorable 55% ad rate that they've had for a while with only one ad break per hour. So I don't have to have freaking ads every 30 minutes anymore. So I've already gone into my dashboard and I've changed it. So every hour I'll be running a three minute block of ads, which is going to suck, of course. But that means that I now have not only the ability to not interrupt the stream every half hour, which is ridiculous, but I can go back to taking my breaks every hour with added incentive to actually take it on the hour. So this is going to be fun. So hopefully people won't mind too much. No worries, Aaron Lord. Do what you got to do. So yeah, uh, no more half-hour breaks to just run ads. I can actually get up and do stuff. I can take the five minutes again. It's... Uh, I've been waiting for this. They actually... I thought they had said they were going to be doing that. Oh, hey, we're still down here. That's good. Okay, so we didn't lose any progress with the power interruption last time. Uh, but yeah, I thought they were going to do that last month. But they only just made it happen today, three days into March. Still, I'm not going to complain too much. So if I remember correctly, we were down here looking for nickel. How much did we find? <laughs> 
Okay, I need more. I found two. I'd love to leave here with about maybe five or six or even seven if I can. Somebody sounds angry. Are they angry at me? Probably. Except I don't know that there is anybody in here with me. Not in this part of the caverns anyway. Okay, I don't think that's nickel. I think those are gold nodes. I already got the one piece of nickel that was right here. That was the first one I found a while back. Oh, that might be. I think that's nickel. Oh, I think that's another one. And I just noticed that I haven't scanned it yet. Okay, so that's four. It's not too bad. I'm not precisely sure exactly how much nickel I really need. Oh, is that another one? It's all over the place here. So that's five. You know, I found that so quickly. I might go ahead and try for the seven or even ten. If it doesn't take too, too long. So there, there is some stuff I'm going to need to build. Right now, if I recall correctly, I'm primarily trying to do depth modules for the various vehicles. We built a new sea truck last session. So I want another depth module at least for that one maybe two. Oh, there's another one so that's six plus I need the mark three depth module for the original that we're tooling around in right now is that no way no I think that was silver yeah that was silver Um, the prawn suit's going to need another depth upgrade because, oh, very important thing to try to remember. If I remember correctly, yes, we are carrying the prawn suit on the back of this. And it cannot survive as much depth as the truck can at the moment. But we're okay. We're only at 574 meters depth. The prawn suit will survive 700 meters. The truck will survive 1,000. Hello, sir. Zenobia, welcome back. How's it going? You managed to catch another stream live. You did. So other than Ultra in the breaks, did I miss any big news? No, nope, not so far. That's about it. There's some more. Uh, nickel, that is, not news. <sighs> nice, Aaron Lar. However, I am bitterly disappointed. I had nice. kept <laughs> Thank you, Morgan. I had kept my old style alert for 69 months. 
and it's not playing. Tagarung made his pop yesterday, and it didn't go then either. So I am irritated. So I have to apologize. How much do I have now? Eight. I might as well look for the other two. We'll go for the ten. I didn't think I was going to find so much nickel so quickly. Is there another passage up this way? Kind of? Sort of? That looks like nickel to me. Nine. Any more right around here? I see lots of uranium on the ceiling and walls, but I don't see any nickel. Oh, you back away, sir. I don't need any of your shenanigans. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind. There we go. Thank you. That's better. I can't believe there are people in the channel that have been subbed for 69 months. And actually, both you and Tagarung have technically been subscribed a lot longer than that. That's how long you've been subscribed just on the Twitch affiliate subscriptions. There was also that service before the Twitch affiliate program existed, where you had been subscribed for quite some time as well. Come on, Nickel. Just need one more. And Patreon too, yes. I have some ideas in mind about how to revive either Patreon or coffee, or maybe even both, who knows? Depending on what people are prefer. I think that's is I'm not sure if that's nickel or not. We're gonna pretend it is. It is. There we go. That's our ten. Now, let's see if I can remember how to get out of here. This is when I kind of wish I hadn't had the power failures. I mean, obviously, I had wished I didn't have the power failures last Monday. Oh, hang on. I've got beacons to help. Start areas there. Oh, wait. This is the central chamber, isn't it? Holy crap. Okay, that's really easy to get out of here. Excellent. Okay. 
Okay, what's that? That's wreckage. That's the start area. That that's that's home that way. Okay. Tenth? Oh, tenth, right, yes. Sorry, when I'm streaming, goldfish have better memories than I do. No, oh, you're okay. You're fine. You're not going to try to eat the ship. He will, but he can't do anything. What? Zenobia, thank you so much for the sub. I really, really appreciate that. You are now officially a lore keeper. Just realizing coming through this area, I don't usually do the pop up to the surface thing the way that I do in Subnautica. Everything looks a little weird up here. That definitely looks weird, but it looks amazing. I love the weather in this. I would love for them to you know, do another round of updates to Subnautica with features from this game and add in weather effects I mean, probably wouldn't be exactly the same weather effects because probably not so much snow in the uh, in the crater area, but rain, lightning storms, all that kind of stuff would be amazing. And I do love the fog, even though the fog is probably one that you wouldn't see very often or at all. To say nothing of maybe a few more building parts, I really like the control room that they added. If it gets a bit colder and water is warm, it'd get foggy. Yeah, yeah, you could get away with some of it. It's just the original game seems to be set in largely a... I don't know if you'd call it a tropical area, but it kind of seems like it with all the bright, vibrant undersea colors and everything. Maybe I, I I don't spend a lot of time in tropical areas of the world, so maybe they get more fog than I realize they do. It just seems like it would be less prevalent. Especially in areas where it's basically just you're underwater all the time. There's no real land. I don't know. People who live closer to the equator could probably set me straight on that. They do get a lot of fog. The dew point can be high. Okay, there you go. I learned something today. Why are my lights flickering? That's weird. Especially when I've got over 3,000 power. Okay, so we wanted... Sea truck depth upgrade to... What have I got... Uh, 
Okay, for the newbie, we've got... Oh, we do have the Mark II. Okay. We're further ahead than I thought we were. That's good, because then we've got extra nickel for other purposes. I thought we still had to make the Mark II depth upgrade for this one. So that means we need a Mark III for this one. We know from the story of Subnautica that they do get hurricanes. Ooh, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Since the Torgals had to leave their island due to too much rain and dangerous mudslides, I'd see love to see a mod that sets the game in a stormy period. Yes. I absolutely adore Subnautica, which is why I've gone through it so many times. But every single time I go through, I end up disappointed with the fact that there's just never any weather. It's always perfectly clear and sunny all the time. Well, you know, perfectly clear anyway. It at least has night. So it's not exactly sunny all the time. The waves in the shallow area would be nuts. That would be... Maybe that's why they didn't do it. <laughs> they could fudge that, though. I mean, you could just make the waves additive to the level of the water instead of trying to simulate subtractive dips. I suspect that's where you'd run into trouble. When the water level goes down and leaves dry land in the middle of the ocean. Uh, right, we were checking upgrades. I have, I do have the Mark III for this. And I've got the perimeter defense upgrade. Come on. I should have checked this when I had it out, but I want to look at what we've got for this, uh, the prawn suit as well. Okay, for this, we have the Mark I depth module, so we need at least the Mark II. And I still have to find the frickin' grapple hook. It's like the most stubborn upgrade. Slow ramp up, maybe, yeah. It, it's more... What I'm kind of picturing is if you're brave and or dumb enough to bring, say, the Cyclops into an area of the shallows and a tornado whips the seas into a frenzy and the water dips down and you're left stranded, then, you know, it's probably not that big a deal because the storm's not going to last forever and it's not like it's going to be just stranded on land forever, but it would introduce variables that probably have not been accounted for in the code just yet. Would complicate the escape rocket plan, but some hand-waving with the force field item requirement could still make it work. Yeah. That's true. Okay, I believe that is the recipe there for the Mark III. So let's... Let's grab some kyanite. I think I have some of that in the truck. The original truck. Nope. Diamond. More diamond. Okay, it's not in the truck. Jarig, how goes? There we are. I may need to go looking for more kyanite. Oh, right, I need the Mark II. I need to see if I can 
attach this hallway into the moon pool there. Just woke up in my chair, moving over to my bed, but dropping a lurk here first. Have an awesome stream and weekend. Thank you so much, Jarek. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your lurk. Get some good rest. Have a fantastic weekend. Wait a minute. That's the recipe for the Mark II, isn't it? It is. Shoot. Okay. We don't need that one, apparently. Okay, for the prawn soup, Mark II. Oh, that's, I think that's what it is. It's, they, both icons look pretty much identical. That's annoying. Um, okay, so that's the prawn soup one. For the Mark III, oh, I just need more cayenne. I think I've still got some somewhere. I'll have to check, but we might need to go searching. For now, I'm going to steal that. Wow, is it possible I've already run out? I think I actually have. I've run out of kyanite. That means we have to go face the shadow again. Prawn suit, depth module, mark two. There we go. So we don't need that one. We don't need that one. We do need that one. What is that one's computer chip, Ruby, power cell, and polyaniline? So that one's reasonably easy. From 700 to 11, not bad, okay. Unfortunately, I can't really go into the shadow area with the prawn suit until I've got that grapple arm. I mean, I could, I guess, but I really, really don't want to. I do have a VOD YouTube, Zenobia. And I've got a playlist specifically for Subnautica Below Zero, so it'll be easy to find. Let me, I don't know that I have that command for the special YouTube, the archive YouTube, but I can pull that up.
There you go. Because it's probably not been long enough. It's possible some of those might still be on Twitch because I've been pretty focused on getting through below zero. But just in case some of them have fallen off the back end, uh, they will definitely be on YouTube. All right, so... Yeah, I should warn you in advance, though. If you're looking for the reaction to the shadow, it might be vaguely disappointing because I've played Subnautica so much and had so many encounters with all the big um, leviathans that the shadow, impressive as it looks, it really didn't phase me at all. Okay, I need that. And, oh, wait, wait. Can I actually? Yes, okay, I already have the lithium. So all I need is two kyanite and I'm good. Let's drop that. I'm going to put some more stuff away because we have to go to the bad place. It's not even that big and it doesn't appear in your head and ask what you are. That's true. That is true. Oh, wow. I'm running low on salads. That's, oh, that was not salads. That was water purification tablets. Let's make a few salads. Yeah, the Empress one... That always startles me. It doesn't matter how many times I play Subnautica. It always gets me. I remember very quickly, of course, but... I'm, you know, I, I've never played it yet that I actually expected it to happen. Alright, let's see... We're going to get Kyanite, so we have to go to the bad place. So we got to take this one, because this one can go deeper. But I don't necessarily need all of it. What have we got? We have storage. We have fabrication. And we have the prawn suit. I'm almost tempted to make another storage and leave the fabrication and the prawn suit. But I think instead, I might just leave the fabrication in the prawn suit. I don't need so much that I desperately need another storage module. But on the other hand, the decreased size and the increased speed and maneuverability might be pretty handy. do it <sighs> 
At least this time we don't have to be quite as constrained. The first time I went down there was incredibly awkward because I kind of got a little bit lost. And my sea truck was limited to a depth of 650 meters. I didn't have the Mark III depth upgrade at that point. And the cavern that the shadows live in, is, it, it can go quite a bit deeper than 650. And occasionally, the ceiling of the cavern dips below 650. So I got a little bit crunched from time to time. I had to hop out and repair a lot. <laughs> I swear the water pressure was a bigger enemy than the shadows themselves were. You know, I actually probably don't even need to bring the storage with me. I cleared out my inventory to the point that I'm going to have lots of space left by the time I've got the kyanite I need. I'm not even sure why I'm bringing it with me. I might leave it back in Maida's cavern. Marguerite's cavern. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I've still got the other depth upgrade. Go away. Sorry. I hope she doesn't mind. Oh, right, there's a lever inside. I could have disconnected it there. Actually. Okay. Why? Oh, okay. Saving the game, heading for the nope zone. can't go back that way, can I? No, it's just in here. Okay. Okay. 
Where did he go? That's a little weird. Oh, there you are. Yeah, this zone, aside from the shadows, is really, really cool. And honestly, the shadows themselves are kind of cool, too. Also, I would just like to point out that I took zero damage from that encounter. That is, I believe, the first time that I've accomplished that. I've taken almost zero damage before, but I've never actually gotten away with actual zero. this. Pretty sure this is not where we want to go. I don't think we're gonna help our search for Kyanite by hanging out here. There was one of the alien artifacts here, wasn't there? One of their facilities. Yeah, yeah, okay. We need to go back. That'll buff out, it's fine. So I've got three so far. Oh, he did a few points of damage there. This was the way you first found your way into the Shadow Zone? Really? I blundered in... Oh, um, is he coming? Yes, he is. Ha! Huh. You got Crystal in the way, buddy. What you gonna do? That's right, you run away. That's the wrong arm. I don't suppose there are any grapple fragments in here. <laughs> I hate searching the monkey nests. I think there's got to be one nest somewhere that I haven't discovered yet. Which piece is this? 
Oh, that's the, right, that's the launcher one. I don't need that one. You have bad news if you hate searching the monkey nest for the grappling arms? Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. Well, part of the problem is I just haven't brought the, um, the prawn suit to help with the search. I think it'd probably be easier doing that. I might just have to go and do it. Well, the problem is that describes a large number of crevices there in the world. <laughs> They're basically all lily pad crevices. The good news is that I have one fragment already. The bad news is that finding the second fragment is basically like pulling teeth. Okay, we're 700 down. Oh, this doesn't look familiar, actually. Where is this? And what is, is that kyanite? Yeah, it is. I would need the uh, drill for that. I don't think I found this last time. I'm not sure it's really doing me much good, though. don't want to get caught outside of the ship. What the heck? Let's go. What? What was that? <laughs> It's not showing properly. Hang on. Maybe I've got filters. Oh, Pongwood. Why did that not play? That's weird. Here. There we go. Oh, uh, thank you, Aaron Lar. Thank you, thank you. Three minute warning on ads, and it feels so good that I don't have to tell you that every half hour. Out of the way, sir. Pongwood, thank you so much for using your Prime sub. I really, really appreciate that. 19 freaking months of support, too. That's amazing. Thank you, thank you. Hello, sir. Are you going to learn your lesson? No, I didn't think so. Twice in a row, I took no damage. I had 95% damage or, you know, 95% integrity before it attacked me. Gonna go away for a little while? Good.
Okay, that's nine. I would love to make it ten, just to make it a nice round number. There we are. He's coming. All right, now we need to head back that way. Nope zone. That's wreckage. Okay, ads are starting soon. We'll find our way out after I get back from that. Now, just a reminder, the ad breaks are going to be longer than normal. They're going to be three minutes, but the break is going to be closer to five, so that's okay. You're not going to miss anything. Oh, no. Whoops. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, why? Chat, why? Yep, yeah, um, that, that is totally a thing that works in real life, by the way. That's a, definitely a thing you can do without getting yourself murdered. Underneath the vehicle. Oh. Okay. Well. You guys handle the fighting. I'll just be here with looting. Best return for me so far. For me, I think it's gotta be RimWorld. Oh my... Dodged, you son of a... Wow. It's a little harder... <laughs> oh my god, what was that physics rag calling? Oh. oh, buddy is over there. No. No, sir. No. No.
There we go. Uh, the kitchen. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. Now watch a courier show up again. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials quickly. <laughs> I have loved this game for a very long time. really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Now do we trust these strange pigeon sister brothers? But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. <laughs> this is making me so incredible. They are making food out of people and we know that. We are actually okay with that. Oh, wow. This game suddenly got so dark. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming up right on a shrine. That's really handy. Ah, oh my... <laughs> wow. Assistance in calculating whether the mass effect is a phenomenon that occurs. Okay, I'm back. Thank you. Right, we were looking for the way. Ah, there we go. That's it. Nope zone. Thank you, Itai. Creature sketchy. How's it going, sketchy? By the way, it's good to see you. Hope all is well.
Oh, you mean the shadow? I don't think it ever actually ate me. Oh, no, actually, never mind. It did get me once or twice. Now that I remember correctly. But they're really not that big a deal. They would be more of a problem, honestly, with the prawn suit than they are with the truck. Because you can't have the perimeter defense system with the prawn suit. On the other hand, you can have the drill arm with the prawn suit. <laughs> they probably wouldn't care for the uh, drill arm. Where are we going? Where's home? had forgotten the zone even existed. Been a while since you played this game. <laughs> I haven't done a huge amount of exploration yet, but it's by far the deepest area that I've found, so I suspect we're going to be going back there a few times. Kyanite for the Mark III upgrade. I already have the Mark II. There we go, 1,000 meters. So they're both equally adept at handling pressure now. So I can just use them for different purposes depending on what I need. that anymore. Not sure if I need the sea truck perimeter defense upgrade. 
I mean, honestly, I guess it's probably pretty handy. If I ever have to take the other one down, I could swap out the upgrades, I guess. What else do we have available? Prawn suit upgrades. Jump jets, depth module, thermal reactor. I have space for one more and an extra arm. that many upgrades for it in this one, are there? I could do a storage module, I guess. I might actually be out of titanium. I'm out of titanium. Wow. It's occurred to me that I've got a nuclear reactor that I never check on. How are we doing here? Okay. what we're going to do. I'm going to take the prawn suit and we're going to look for that freaking grapple arm. I wish you could have an extra dock specifically just for storing modules. I mean, I guess technically that's actually what I'm kind of using this for, but it would be better if I didn't have to do the shuffle with the truck all the time.
that's a thermal. Don't need that right now. Don't know. I've never finished this before. I mean, the plot so far is basically Samantha Ayu looking for answers as to what happened to her sister, how she died. So presumably it's going to have something to do with that. I don't know exactly how she intends to get off the planet again, but, you know, it's not the same kind of situation as the first game. There's no Kara bacterium this time, or at least, uh, well, there's no, there's no quarantine, there's no epidemic. You don't have to cure yourself first. You're basically here looking for answers. Sorry. Okay. You never used it? Interesting. I quite like the truck holder, the docking unit. It's pretty good. Come get me, sir. This thing seems a lot better at navigating water than it did in Subnautica. It's a lot more vertical velocity. Okay, we've already done that one. This is so much better. If I had realized it was so easy to get around in this thing, I would have gone searching with this a long, long time ago. It almost doesn't even feel like you need the grapple arm so much in this. It is Cobra, it is. From what I know of the ending of the first game, the main character went into massive debt for being rescued. Perhaps you don't want to leave this time either. That's entirely fair.
Marguerite's lights, so she's got to be down that way, I think. This is clearly not the same kind of brawn suit we had in the first game. The jets are so much better in this. I mean, granted, I upgraded the jets. But you can upgrade the jets in the first game too, and they're nowhere near this good. Have a good night, Aaron, or feel better quick. The only thing about Underwater Spider-Man, though, is I don't know how much opportunity you would have in this game to do that. Nope, Cavern definitely has a ceiling, but how often are you near it? I guess it depends on where in the cavern you are. Looking for round two, sir. You 
jerk. I'll take that as a yes. It has only itself to blame. suit takes a while to fix. Takes a beating, I'll give him that. Missed. Where'd you go? Okay. Sorry, buddy, but you were kind of asking for it. No, he really doesn't. Here? What? Jim. Jim Racer. Uh, oh, it did, Pilation. Sorry, you have to let me know. I'm not always going to notice. Uh, but let me take care of the raid first, and then we'll do a terrible pun or dad joke just to probably drive all the raiders away. <laughs> There we go. Guys, if you're not following Jim Racer, he's an awesome friend of the channel and a wonderful streamer, so make sure you go give him a follow and check out his content. I can guarantee you will not regret it. What is going on, Jim? How was your stream this evening? How was Overwatch 2 treating you? I would love to hear all the things. Folks, if you are here for the first time, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while... I will throw in an actual real-world physical brick Lego build as well. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. I know how to stream. That was the wrong button combo. Welcome. Come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh crap. Oh no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh damn it. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh shoot. 16.9 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh no, 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 no. Oh crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, 
That was Hey, I have not... I have not looted that, sir. There you go. That's a bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Jim, thank you so much for sharing your community with us. I promise I will do my very best to try and take care of them properly. Uh, let me see. Went well, played some Fortnite as well. Much fun with friends in both games. That is really awesome to hear, Jim. That is really, really awesome. Now, like I mentioned just before we got into the raid stuff, we did have a redemption for a terrible punter dad joke, so I have to apologize in advance for the psychic damage you are about to be afflicted with. So let me get the book out. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Now, please keep in mind, these are terrible puns and dad jokes, not very good puns and dad jokes. So you've been warned. Okay, why do cows send so many text messages? They like sending each other emojis. There you go. <laughs> hey, Anstara. My joke wins, but not by much. Now, wins in what sense? Oh, hello. You're just a massive jerk, aren't you? And this one, it doesn't really look like a grapple arm, but it could potentially be. Afterburner upgrade? Hey, I'll take that. I don't have that yet either. The key takeaway here is this area is a part I've not been to before. Not as terrible. Oxygen. What? Callan Ray, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you are well. I hope you're feeling better too. Now, was that the last part I needed for the afterburner? Because the afterburner is something I would really like to add, actually. I can do it, yes. Okay. So we can do the sea truck afterburner, which needs crystalline sulfur, 
lithium power cell and wiring kit. That's good because I can make two of them relatively cheaply and that gives me something to do with the power cells that are now obsolete. So that's awesome. You are indeed much improved. Excellent. My seven-year-old's favorite joke right now. Welcome on in, Mama K, please. What is the scariest thing in the forest? Bamboo. <laughs> she laughs endlessly with that one, regardless of how many times it's told. That's amazing. You know, I don't actually think I've heard that one before, which is even more amazing, honestly. Oh, 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 oh. That looks like it might be the other sea moth or uh, sea truck upgrade. Horsepower upgrade. How did I never find this area? It's kind of weird. My RimWorld colony died today. They only made it three quarters of a year because I did decide to try and up the difficulty on myself and it murdered me. Yeah, well, I mean, it's RimWorld. It's going to attempt to do that no matter what, right? You're so happy I found this area. So am I. I just got two sea truck upgrades I really, really wanted. Also, I think we need to go this way. I'm just so impressed at how maneuverable the sea prawn, the prawn suit is compared to the first game. Oh, okay, so we have an alien zone here somewhere. I'm not seeing any more nests, though. go back and explore this part with the sea truck. sitting here repeating bamboo to myself. I haven't hit the Copa Minute yet in my current save. What the the Copa Minute? Oh, the, the Copa Mine. Just started it yesterday, got my truck today. Now I need to go get those lawn suit bits, yes. I will try to warn you if we come across anything that is potentially too spoilery. Where did I leave my truck? That's not too far away. I'm going to swim back. I'm just going to leave my suit there as a marker so that I can find the area again. We're going to explore a little bit more with the sea truck and then we'll pick up the suit and go deeper into alien territory. Because I have been through the alien, the, the, the Copa mine site. I won't spoil anything. I would like to try to avoid that if possible. I saw you, don't you? Ah! You colossal jerk. Hmm, I think I went the wrong way. Are you referring to the Shadow? The Shadow Leviathan? I have indeed, if so. 
quite a few times, actually. Oh. Oh, are you talking about Alan? Yes, Alan. Oh, yes. I I've had Alan for a while. I've found one of the body parts. I won't be too spoilery about any of that either. I haven't, actually haven't heard from Alan in a while. I'm starting to get a little concerned about him. suit. There it is. That'll buff out. It's actually been a few streams since Alan had anything to add about my adventures. Sorry. Okay, so suits up ahead there. Aha. Oh, that looks promising. That might be what we're here for. I think that's it. Yes! Thank you! <sighs> oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> there's two of them right here. Wow. The game is just trolling me. Can you contact him remotely? No, he just seems to pop up. I mean, theoretically, the character could contact him remotely. They're kind of sharing a brain, so it's not like you have to contact somebody external. But the game doesn't really give you an option to do that. He just pipes up when he has something to say, which presumably means when you've got a triggering condition of some sort, usually when you find something or get near something. Okay, let's look around here. Now that we found the things. Actually, this looks familiar. I may have already been here, but that can't be right. No, I have been here. How did I not stumble? What? Wow, yes, I've been here. Well, he does the first time you head to Pilot's last known location. I did that a long, long time ago, though, at this point. Okay, we came across this when we were returning from the Nope Zone, one of the first times I got there. If only I'd known it was so frickin' close to that grapple arm.
Okay, where's home? Now we are homebound because I've got stuff to create. I have afterburners and horsepower upgrades and grapple arms. We need at least two grapple arms. See, okay, so starting a new RimWorld colony now on the difficulty I'm used to and uh, wasn't picky about my location and like a good 70, maybe 80% of the map is mountains. So a perfect starting point then is what you're saying. Well, timing can't be beat. With colonists whose highest mining skill is one, see, they've got endless potential to improve their mining skill then. That's perfect. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, the truck docking is so good. I really like it. I only wish there was a module that would allow you to just store the, or like a, a dock that was specifically intended for modules that are not currently in use. Right now I've got an extra sea truck that I've set up basically to just hold my extra modules. I also have it set up so that I can do other stuff with it, but, um, let's see. Okay, so not there. So if I need another sea truck for some other use, I can set that up. That, why am I... I'm making all the wrong turns today. Grapple arm. Okay, we're not going to bother with that. Well, actually, we might, but let's see. We need the grapple arm, so that's... Lithium, titanium, advanced wiring kit, and benzene. That's easy enough. I'm glad I picked up some extra flowering spores. And then for this... We need that, and the horsepower upgrade. Okay, so we're gonna need a fair amount of silver. We're gonna need to do some more resource runs. So it looks like we need at least two computer chips. Have a great night, Sketchy. Thank you so much for being here. I will catch you again soon. Okay, so we got some extra salad. 
Just an hour behind? At 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Sketchy. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll, I should be on tomorrow. Uh, so what do we want to work on first? Let's see what I've got on hand. Maybe I can finish some of this stuff. Uh, I do have a little bit of silver, so I can do a wiring kit. Oh, I had four nickel here, too. Interesting. Got crystalline sulfur. A little bit of nickel in there. I have one silver left here. A power cell. Okay, so it's mainly just lithium, and then I can make the, uh, the afterburner. See if we've got anything in storage here. No, we need to go searching. But the copper wire will come in handy for the computer chips. Since we're looking to make some conventional components, I'm going to do the truck module shuffle, and we're going to bring the fabrication unit with us. Okay, so we don't need the prawn suit. this one. I think this is the sleeper. We shouldn't need that. Although, you know what? It might be handy. I don't use it very often. Yeah, same, Cobra. That's pretty fun. Minute and a half warning, by the way. We have another ad break beginning in a minute and a half or so. So I will take a five minute break. The ads, like I've been saying throughout this, um, they made some changes to the way the scheduled ads work. It used to be in order to get the favorable 55% ad revenue split, you had to run a minute and a half of ads every half hour. Now they've set it so that you can actually do three minutes of ads every hour to get the same split, which is very convenient for me because I like to take one break every hour, a slightly longer break every hour, and then it just works out better that way. The stream doesn't feel as interrupted. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, um, 
let's leave it paused for a moment. The ads are going to start very shortly, so I will take that break and I will be back. Ads will play. I apologize to anyone who has to watch them, but it does help the stream a whole lot. So thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a really good time to do it. Oops. <laughs> I had that on for a while. That's okay. I'm going now. I'll be back. Vicious. Great. You've been snatched from existence by a tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Out of the way, folks. Don't make me shoot you. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. I guess I don't need to worry about the data spike. Oh wow. Oh wow, yeah. Oh. This is so cool. Is that a sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. Still used to use this place. We were on the right drive. Never heard. This way. Hey. Oh. Nice move. Up. You should probably just focus on going where I need to go instead of on murdering these guys on the bikes. Although, a little bit of bike murder is pretty fun. What do we have here? I have inventory space. I love it. My adventure is over. To whoever finds this time capsule, I've given you a few supplies to help boost your mood. Oh, that's a really awesome looking base. I like that. Thank you, Anonymous Player. So, I got a couple of Ion Cubes, a Coffee Americano, very nice, mixed chips. Okay, fair. Very Holy crap, he was a scary one. I like that. Ghostly remains? Nice. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Hello. You didn't need that shoulder, did you? Did you freaking die already? Oh, you're the alpha. Okay. What? Wow. Dude, 
kind of have in mind all the happenings before. Um. Okay, I'm back. Hope the new ad breaks aren't too terribly painful. Okay, so what are we looking for? We need titanium, which actually should be really easy to get, generally speaking. I need silver. Copper never hurts. Thank you, Pilatius. Honestly, better? Excellent. Thank you, Kalenry. I'm very encouraged to hear that it's better. I love that it doesn't interrupt the stream as frequently. Half an hour is just way too much. I'll grab a couple of those, because I'll need them. Oh, I need that. these table coral. So that's two. That's enough for a single computer chip. sack, but I've got lots of both of those. Alright guys, I have a question for you. It's a little out of the blue. How many of you folks play Civilization from time to time? Or on the regular? Oh my god, I am so stuck. <laughs> Truck! Come on! Alright, let's just back out, since that seems to be the way to go. You guys do? Okay, so can I infer then that there would be some interest in seeing me play Civilization again soon. Because when they started releasing their leader updates recently, the you know the new stuff before they confirmed that the next Civilization franchise game is coming out. Oh my god. Come on. This thing is so jammed. Uh, yeah, I... Um, they were going to do six updates of three liters each for the next few months, and I think that's going to be stopping soon, if I'm not mistaken. Because I think they've released it all, basically, by this point. But we did one stream of it, and I had meant to stream it every time they released a new set, which never actually happened. But I'm kind of thinking, now that so many of them are out, it might be good to take a peek at what's been going on. Especially for some campaigns or challenges. What do you mean? I need explanation. Okay. Let's see if we can fix this. Civ 6 on the regular. Nice, Zenobia. 
Civilization has been one of my all-time favorite game franchises since 1991. I used to play Civ 1 on the Amiga way back when. much I need down here besides entrapment and death. And I'm not really sure how much I really need that. Come on. Oh, you got to be joking. Come on. There we go. You know, campaign packs and scenarios are something that I never really do with Civilization. That might actually be pretty fun. Maybe I'll do that. Oh. This is perfect. Taking down tanks with chariots? Yeah. Or doing a challenge like survive with mega storms on? Oh, oh, as a coastal... Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe we'll do that then. Do we know when the release date for the last of the leader packs is? Because that's... I think that's got to be March. I just don't know when in March. that's that um, going to go near the Copa mining site. We're not actually going to go into it, though. So if you're concerned about spoilery content, don't worry. I have no need to actually enter.
I think we have two more leader packs. No, it can't be two, can it? Hang on. Let me check. Let me check. Where's Civ? Leader pass continues. Meet rulers of the Sahara. February 28th. Rulers of China, January 19th. Begins now. Meet the Great Negotiators was November 21st. That was more recent than I thought, actually. November 21st, then... The Great Commanders on December 15th. So that's two, three, four. Oh, you're right. There's two more left. Huh. Okay. Never mind. Great builders and then England. That's cool then. Yes, we will definitely do some of that soon. silver. That's more lithium. Okay, so that's the lithium that I need. Of course, it never hurts to have a little extra. You know, I don't think we're going to need to actually even get over to Copa. I've basically got more or less what I need at this point. Come on, gimme. There we go. Six silver, a few titanium, plus what I stashed in the truck. Three lithium. Yeah, I think we're probably alright for now. Hello. Rude. Okay, so we can make one of them right now, actually. Oop, nope, wrong way. Afterburner upgrade. Extra burst of speed at the expense of some power. Still, that might be useful. I like having the option. 
So that one's done. Now we need lubricant and an advanced wiring kit for the horsepower upgrade. and a computer chip so gold and two of the table coral which I stashed in the truck I didn't pick up any extra gold but I'm pretty sure I still have some if not that's easy to go out and find hell we could go back to Delta Island and there's a million gold Oop, nope I might not actually have any gold here. One of these days we have to return to land and see if I can get the fur as well. I'm pretty certain I know how to do that. We are going to have to grab some more gold, actually, because I need one more computer chip. Okay. Put them to sleep? What do you mean, Zenobia? I've put one of them to sleep, but it was rather more permanent than I really meant. Huh, yeah. We're a little bit low on gold don't need that anymore Copper wire, gold, table coral, so we do need gold. I think, actually, I will go back to the island. This is a very slow start in my game. We'll see how it goes. You'll be okay. I have confidence in you, Pine. Okay, so I can, oh, I can do both of them. So that means I probably need to make both of these again if I want them in the other truck. It's not the most noticeable upgrade ever, but it does feel better. Okay, I like it. 
That's not bad. That's not bad. Just have to try and remember where the heck this cave is. This was it. That's one, two, but damn it, game. I feel cheated. I didn't get the gold. You can't actually grow heel root yet. I, you know what? I rarely rely on growing heel root. I usually like to get some going if I can, but I don't usually worry about it too, too early because there's usually enough on the map that you can just harvest wild. I've never tried to get seeds or cuttings from those heat flower things. I wonder if you can. It never occurred to me to try, honestly. Let's give it a shot. That's probably enough gold and titanium to last a while. On the map that's 80% mountain and kind of hard to grow things. There. What size map are you using, out of curiosity? Largest possible in base game. Excellent. Nope. Sadly, nothing.
Okay. Oops, sorry. No worries, Zenobia, no worries. My pleasure. I'm honestly kind of embarrassed that it didn't even occur to me. Hitting 2 a.m. for me, so you're going to drop off. Have a fantastic night, Zenobia. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I'll catch you again soon. Okay, so I need more table coral is what I need. So I ran away from the truck too quickly. Okay, so that's the advanced wiring kit. We've got the titanium. I need lithium. And I need benzene. I don't need the computer chip recipe pinned anymore. But I could use benzene. Where did I put those orange thingies? That's a technical term, by the way. There they are. There we go. So now I just need lithium. Surely I must have some of that stuck around here somewhere. If not, it's not that hard to find. We'll go grab some. You know what? We're going to have to go grab some. Okay. Patriotic. Uh, what? Let me redo that. That seemed to die in the middle. Patriotic, thank you so heckin' much for 15 months and for using your Prime sub here. 
I can't tell you what that means to me. You only get one Prime sub, and you chose to use it here, of all places? That's pretty amazing. Thank you so much. How are you doing? It's really good to have you here, Patriotic. What? Inventory full? You're kidding. Wow. Okay. Thought you subbed yesterday? Well, either way, today, yesterday, Subs are never required, so it's really, really appreciated when you do. Thank you very much. Don't think about it. Good. I think we can do what we need now. You got your regular late night snacks now? Very nice. What have you got? I was just thinking that. Okay, now I actually just remembered we still want another grapple arm because we have to have two, obviously. So I'm going to need more benzene. I 
think I've got the stuff here, though. It was one of these doohickeys. Not there. There. And two of the orange doohickey thingies. Those are technical terms. So now all I need is another advanced computer wiring thingy. Which, fortunately, I can just craft out of hand. There we go. the polyaniline I needed. There are two grapple arms. Probably gonna need to go get more cape, uh, uh, table coral. So they grab copper for wire. One of those. And two of those. So I just need the computer chip. And I've got one table coral, so I only need one more. Yeah, I've got the gold, I've got the wire. I need one table coral and that's it. Computer chip. There we go. Now we can do the thing. Ah! You jerk! I just fixed this thing up. sure if it's the modification station or if we do this one here, but let's find out. It's here. 
There we go. So that's the perimeter defense module for the other sea truck. Four five four six B truck simulator too long. Um, they can be renamed. I don't know if that's too long. Let's find out. I've discovered that they work both in the docking things here, but also they work perfectly well in the moon pool too, as long as there are no modules attached. That's as much as you can do. That's the longest name you can have. Alright, so I'm not actually sure what we need to do next. Let's take a look at what we've got from Alan. Outpost Zero is where your sister worked her final days on 4546B. It is quite isolated. Yeah, I know the brightest ideas can flourish in the middle of nowhere, but this is practically off the map. A lot of people would love to get paid to sit around and do nothing. And that's Sam. She must have been miserable out here. And they have the nerve to call her negligent. I think they drove her to an extreme. They also motivated me to change my behavior. Because they drove you into hiding? I had calculated that they might be well placed to answer my distress signal. But I came to suspect their motivations were not aligned with mine. So you made yourself harder to find. It was a calculation. Lil wanted to know too much about architects. I could not let her. She was, what do you call them, Volterran. What did you think she would do to you? She might have discovered the gateway to our home world. I thought it wiser not to take the chance. Do we know who did the voice of Alan? Our searches have been useful. But ultimately, I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I... Oh. ...even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay. That's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is... Uh, oh, oh, right. Hope is is the the thing with feathers this does not match any fauna designation i can find in your pda it's a line from a 19th century earth author emily something hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all i promise we'll get answers one way or another alan adding hope to your database <laughs> Matthew Marsh. I was thinking it sounds incredibly similar to David Warner, but I know he passed away. But I think he passed away after this game had come out. The network is indicating more of my people's technology. 
but the images I am receiving are fragmented, repeating. I am struggling to locate them precisely. Fragmented images? Why would that happen? I can only theorize that the locations are deep and shielded by a refractive material. Perhaps amongst large crystal formations. Hint, hint. Another site found. Another site found. But I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. The crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important below. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Okay, so we have reason to believe there's a... <sighs> Sorry guys, my, uh, my browsers are acting up something fierce right now. I'm actually going to restart. Not the computer, just the browser, I think. So I won't be able to read chat for just a moment, but I'll be back in just a second here. Okay, I have chat back again. All right. Okay. I think we might have to return to the land for a little while. So where is the snow fox thing? I may have to build another one because we lost the one irretrievably. No fox, what do we need? We need a battery, we need two magnetite, we need lubricant, and we need titanium. And we need to skip the night. Or at least we're going to. We don't really need to. Now, I'm not sure about the t uh, magnetite. Oh, hello. Gimme. Thank you. Magneta oh, I'm lucky. Okay, I've got exactly what I need for that. You know, I might actually take this one just because we've got the um, the prawn suit. Would I be able to get around in the prawn suit, though, I wonder? I have both arms, right? I do. Let's take this one. Oh, except... No, you know what? The other one has my coffee and salad stashes. So we're going to take the other one, but we're going to re-hook up the docking module.
bad. Not too bad. Nice little burst of speed. You know what? Nope. We're not ready yet. Too hasty in taking off. I need to get my pangling stuff. I need my robo pangling and I need the remote control. There they are. Uh, what else don't I need? I don't need to carry a lot of this stuff with me. Oh, um, some of it I do. I need the magnetite. And at least one titanium. Okay. Hey Vikings, been in a lurking mood today, so been quiet. Hopes of not treating you well. It actually has. We finally found the upgrade materials we were looking for in the monkey nests. So I've got two grapple arms and the horsepower upgrade for the sea truck and the afterburner upgrade for the sea truck. So now we can zoom. I hope you've been enjoying your lurk and I hope all is going well. We have ads starting again soon, now that uh, they're hourly. It's actually, for some reason, easier to keep up with it. So, wait. Oh, there we go. Ads in progress. I'll be right back in about five minutes. What are they doing, feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. I look for you, friend, when at last you return to Shaw's Hall. The honor will be ours when you rejoin the ranks of Sovereign God. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me so. I'll 
will send you back. Return now to me with this rich boon from shore, my lord. Not so fast. There we go. And he nails the finish. Spider Man does it again. That's the first time in either of these games that I've actually successfully caught the car. That's I'm impressed at that. That's pretty cool. Cecil has become a paladin. Gotcha. First try. You fought well, but we're... Yeah, drop, the yeah, drop the anchor. Drop the anchor! I'm not... I'm fixing a hole. Drop the oh, anchor. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Did, no. did somebody drop the anchor finally, or...? Drop <laughs> the freaking anchor. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, um, oh, now oh, we something. Boom Boom is down. What the hell? Whoops. Sorry, Boom Boom. Guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. How are you not dead? Excuse me. Fine. That was very discreet. Master of Stealth. Right. Now just a bit more. Mm. Very. Hey, Gucci's. Oh god. Oh no 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 you don't I'm so freaking close and you're damn ape oh my god you're so close <sighs> First Apex Guild Now you come with Oh, and this is the one. Okay. You leave her alone. Yeah, yeah. Debuff removed. Indecisive swings. Chip will wipe up your blood.
So, you got that job as a janitor after all. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber. You are glue. Go I give up. You win. Okay, I'm back. Thank you, Watai. Thank you, Pyre. Okay. Well, I've got that if I need it. I'm gonna bring a few extra salads, I think. Now, I never fi have figured out what to do about the bridge. Maybe we'll find a clue to that. I seem to remember there's a map. Not picking up paper, peppers takes us active will. I was just thinking I want to keep the peppers. Or the, uh, not the peppers, I mean, you know what I mean, the salads. I would like to keep the salads longer. I think we're going to go that away. There have been too many, Greeny. There are several tentacled monster plants on this uh, planet that will try to eat you if you get too close. I got grabbed by one of them. 
I taught it a lesson. How are you doing? It's really good to see you. What the heck? Giggle Flat coming in with the raid. How are you doing, Giggle Flat? It's wonderful to see you. Welcome on in, folks. Uh, guys, if you're not following Giggle Flat, please make sure to go give him a follow. And oh, what the heck? Giggle Raid Space Vikings. Thank you for coming in with the raid. Uh, I love that emote. What emote is that? That's a. Why does that sword look familiar? Is that from Destiny or something? It looks very, very familiar. I love the giggle raid. Welcome on in. It's so good to have you. Oh, it's from Halo. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, welcome on in, everybody. If you've uh, never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And every once in a while, I will throw in an actual real-world physical brick Lego build. So if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a raid video to welcome you in. Hopefully, it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you for the help, Greeny. I appreciate it. You have an hour? Okay. That's um, it's nice to have you here. Giggle Flat, thank you so much for sharing your community with us. We're returning to the surface for a little while. We haven't really done a whole lot on the surface area for a bit. I'm going to see if I can grab a few more peppers, actually, so I can save my salads. Oh, we got thingies in here. being chased, so that's a plus. Oh, what's that? Snowfall. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I forgot. I was gonna build a new snow fox. Crap. What? You're kidding, Greeny. An hour cooldown? 
Okay, Google, or um, not Google. Uh, Twitch has been working on changes behind the scenes. Something must have changed the settings because there's, I absolutely did not under any circumstances set up an hour of cooldown on shoutouts. I will fix that after stream. Thank you so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate that. Welcome on in. I can't believe I freaking forgot to make another snow fox. What the heck? Thank you, Vagrant Fox, so much for the... Oh, Space Vikings, thank you for gifting a sub. And, oh my god. Okay, guys, you know what this means. Um, we've hit our daily sub goal. That means that I owe you guys a story time. So, once... Since I have to go back and basically make a new... Arctic or a snow fox anyway... I will pop into my submarine so that I'm relatively safe from temperature and all that kind of stuff. And once I've done that, I will do story time. And for those of you who have never been here for story time before... What that is, is anytime I hit my daily sub goal, I take a few minutes and I read you some of the lore of the Library of Lore. I am a writer, and um, so I haven't worked on it nearly enough in a while, but I have a few little short stories that um, contain some information about some of the characters that are kind of act behind the scenes in the library. And it gives you a little bit more of an idea of what's going on behind the scenes with some of the characters and whatnot. Didn't even see the sub numbers for the day? Yeah. I'm also realizing I need to work on my description of the uh, things because I don't have the alerts anymore. The alerts used to reference the characters and now those are all gone. So these character names are not going to mean much to new people, but that's okay. There are people that work around the Library of Lore and um, help out with things. I need to figure out where my snow fox thing is. I used to have it back here. I don't know if I still do. Also, that, uh, well, that, that cave, okay. I used to have it here. Uh, did I get rid of it? I might need to build the platform for it, too. I may not be very well equipped here. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, that's all right. If I have to go back, at least I'm at the submarine, so it's easy to do. Oh, we do have a dad joke redeem? Okay, we'll do that. The subtitles tend to cover up the daily sub goal. Okay, well, I can maybe work on making those a little easier to see. But uh, we'll do the dad joke first. Then we'll do story time. No time thing for me, at least, but weird that it told me it did. That is really weird, Greeny. I'll take a look at it after stream and see what's going on. All right. Did you hear about the farmer who had 100 cows? He thought he only had 97 cows, but then he rounded them up. Oh, is that a second one? Thank you, Atai. Oh, now there's... Oh, so there hadn't been one, and I did one anyway. So that'll count. Thank you, Atai. There we go. Uh, okay, now. Story time. Let me see if I have all this set up right. 
Um, since Space Vikings gifted the sub that brought us up to the daily sub count, Space, do you have a particular story that you would like me to read? Would you like The Curious Case of the Buried Books, um, The um, Shepherding the Recruits, or Seven Years of Chaos, which is now horribly out of date? Because uh, we are now eight years, eight and a half years in counting, actually. Buried books? Okay, we can do that. Uh, in theory. Apparently my stream deck is not 100% on board. There we go. So let me get this set up for my own reading. I apologize. It's actually been a little while since we did uh, story time, and I don't think I had my new stream deck set up back when I did that. So things were a little bit broken, but easy to fix. Okay, guys, so this is The Curious Case of the Buried Books. You did not, Hilary exclaimed. I refuse to believe it. Oh, sure I did, Joduri said matter-of-factly. The hint of a blush was absolutely not creeping over his slightly coppery, hard, dwarven features. You're telling me you, Mr. Unshakable, Mr. Stability himself, got caught in an unstable frame? Joduri sighed. There was extenuating circumstances. I was younger then, less experienced. See, I'd heard about these buried books being dug up. <laughs> I should have known it had involved digging, Hilary chuckled. I buried treasure and all. Well, I got me reality stabilizer and went to this odd world with a tiny town. Pelican Town was the name, if I remember correct. Right beautiful place it was, but also the most unstable world I ever ran into. But I'll get to that. Right away, I see dwarven hands at work. No human would ever have noticed, but it stood out to me straight away. Carved and shaped stones around town, definitely of dwarf make. But not a dwarf to be seen, nor elves, just humans. He sighed a bit and lifted his mug from the table in the library break room. I expect if there were dwarves in the area, they were simply deeper down, he continued. But anyway, I started asking round down after the books. Nice folk, very welcoming of strangers. They weren't surprised to see one of your kind? Halera asked, then took a small nibble out of a stick of shortbread. No, though I didn't go out of my way to call attention to myself either. I think they just took me for a short man. Anyway, most, mostly they were pretty helpful, though the shopkeep fellow, Pierre, I think his name was, he seemed a bit put off when he found out I wasn't buying anything. And before you start, he said as Hilara seemed about to interrupt, I know, even back then I knew enough to always try and buy when asking around after things, but this place? Set up to survive farmers and households. Nothing I needed, nothing I could use. Hilara simply nodded, listening intently, and continued eating her biscuit and sipping on a steaming mug of coffee. So I didn't get much from him. There was this one black fellow, though, Demetrius. Real smart. I figure he might have known what I was. Was doing studies out around town with his daughter, Maru. Neither of them seemed surprised when I asked about people digging up books around their town, and they gave me a couple of leads. A farmer who'd just arrived earlier in the year, and Gunther, curator of the local museum and library. Gunther was too busy to know much about it, but he'd asked the farmer to keep an eye out for stuff for, to fill the shelves with. The farmer had already donated a few books and museum displays and things. Gunther directed me to the farm, and that's when things got weird. So I went up to the farmer, and my dimensional tracker went all blitzed up on me. The farmer wasn't one person, not all at once, anyway. Kept phasing between different folk. Alara's eyes grew wide. I've heard of things like that. Individual people or places with only a weak connection to the world? Aye, the farmer was a weak connector, and to a lesser extent, the farm itself was too. It was making me slip between frames of the world, going from one instance to another where the farmer was someone completely different. A man in one to a lady in another, then a weird blue person the next. Made my head spin. I'd never run into any such thing before. Alara snort laughed while sipping coffee, which only made her laugh harder. Sorry, sorry. I'm picturing you alone in a strange world with an improperly set stabilizer trying to work out why things are changing in front of your eyes. Hey, I said I didn't have much experience, all right? Joe Derby grumped. I know, she said. It's just hard to imagine you without experience. Hmm. Well, we all gotta learn at some point. Anyway, after a while of trying to make sense of it, I finally thought to fiddle with the reality stabilizer. It wasn't more than a minute, maybe two, before I found myself firmly in Farmer Gord's world. Alara's sharp elven eyebrows rose. Farmer Gord? Interesting. 
Ah, yeah, fascinating coincidence. He quieted a moment, glancing off through the library walls in the general direction of the head librarian's office. He knew about the books, though. I just dug one up the day before I arrived. Said he always just knew where to dig to find things. Books, historical artifacts, fossils, minerals. Ground always looked marked to him. That's much as it is for my people. Almost wondered if he had some dwarf blood in him. But it also made me wonder about the instability. I took a walk around the town, found the ruins of some old community center. Run-down place, but it was a bit unstable itself. The dimensional tracker marked it straight away. The building, but also clusters of little moving signals inside it, like rats or some such. It was locked, so I couldn't check inside. Not far outside of it, I found a bit of marked ground, just as Farmer Gord described, and in the ground, a book. An unwrapped, unprotected book on a rainy day, not getting wet, not getting dirty. I'd never seen anything like it. Haven't since, neither. Alara was tidying up her dishes. It was nearly time to get back to work. The Library of Lore's bookkeeping wasn't going to do itself, unfortunately. She paused. Mysterious buried books appearing completely clean and intact, regardless of the conditions they're found in, associated with an area of interworld instability. Jaduri nodded, eyes sparkling in a hint of sm a smile on his face. She snapped quick, slender fingers. They're a symptom of that same instability, the dwarf nodded. That's my best conclusion. Probably happened that in a wide band of nearly identical alternate worlds over time a few books were lost. But these worlds hold unusual magics and that touch of instability. The lost books bled over and appear throughout the whole band of worlds. And they can repeat, too. I went back a few times. Farmer Gord reported finding several of the same volumes a few times each over the next couple of years. A fascinating story, Judd. Thank you for sharing it. I'm certainly glad you closed the book on that one. Hilara deadpanned. Juduri gritted his teeth and managed to respond with nothing but a grunt of deep spiritual pain until they were back at their desks in the library's financial offices. There you go. Stardew is one of your favorite games, so you love this one? Nice. Oh, that was on your end. I'm glad you figured that out, Greeny. The Buried Books one, as you're currently playing a Stardew heavily modded, very, very cool. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot when we manage to get to um, the to the daily sub goal. I appreciate that very greatly. Uh, okay, I need more stuff. Let's see if we have any of it. Titanium, I have. That's fine. We're probably gonna have to go looking for some silver, though. All right. I can't believe I don't have that stuff anymore. You'd be scared to read off your own things? I have a lot of practice well, of it. I used to be part of uh, writing classes and writers' workshops and all kinds of stuff where you would read your own stuff. Even reading first draft crap doesn't bother me anymore. You develop a pretty thick skin about it. It's scary at first, though. Like, uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't be concerned. I'm not saying you should be either. I I'm just saying it's perfectly natural to be, you know, apprehensive about doing it. any own things to read, but my wife loves it when I read her currently Dresden Files recommended. Oh, Dresden Files is really fun. I need to read more of that. I need to get through more of it. The TV show is really fun, too, although it's best if you take the TV series as its own thing, as opposed to being directly related to the books, because it's quite different in a lot of ways. Writing scenarios for a TTRPG is a first great step into the writing world, too. Yeah, actually, that is really good. That's a really good thing to do.
Okay. We will take the other truck to go looking for silver. Books 5 to 10 are on the way in the post right now. 8 is on back order, though. Ah, uh, well, hopefully you managed to get it. What about ebooks? Or audiobooks? I've actually got quite a few of the Dresden Files as audiobooks. They're read by James Marsters, which makes it an extra treat to go through. Uh, where's our stuff? Okay. We're gonna go this way, and we're gonna look for more silver. I'm gonna try to get more, though, because I do want to get this sea truck also outfitted with some of the stuff that I've got for the other one. I want to get it with the, um... I want to get it set up with the horsepower and the afterburner upgrade. I mean, it's not a super high priority. I'm not going to go out of my way. But it's a thing I want to do. Been writing a scenario for Call of Cthulhu to continue on a 1930s Soviet campaign. Oh man, that sounds really fun. I haven't looked at any of the Cthulhu RPG stuff since probably the mid-90s. But I understand that it is one of the most popular TTRPG systems in the world these days. Like, I think it's second only to D&D. And in some parts of the world, it's more popular. silver. I'd like to maybe double that if I can. We'll probably get them as well, but my first read-through will be physical paper. You love the feel and smell of it. Fair. Okay. I've just kind of gradually become allergic to... Oh my god, are you kidding me? My inventory? I can eat those. I don't need titanium. I, I've kind of become allergic increasingly to physical media in most cases. It takes a lot now for me to want to buy anything in a physical form. I never buy paper books. Oh, what? Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. I don't know if you are one of those who prefers to be acknowledged or prefers not to be acknowledged, but uh, my habit these days is if somebody pops in and follows but does not actually say anything in chat, that is perfectly fine and perfectly, you know, you're more than welcome to lurk. I won't acknowledge you by name until you speak up, though, because some people don't want to be acknowledged. So if you do, just, you know, say hi or whatever. And if you don't, then that's cool, too. But yeah, I, I haven't bought a paper book in forever. Usually if I'm going to get something in a physical media form, it's probably likely to be a movie or TV series on Blu-ray or something. And even that I very rarely do. I am planning on getting the Blu-ray of The Last of Us because, my god, what an amazing show that is. And probably um, Strange New Worlds as well because the first season of that is ridiculously good too. But that'll be the first time in a number of years that I've actually bought anything like that.
first one was a scenario written by a Chaosium, but I felt I could do a little bit better in regards to Eastern European settings, culture, and historical accuracy. Very nice. Now, um, why writing a whole new one instead of modifying what it is to make the information contained more accurate? Or is it just that you finished the scenario and now you need something to continue it so you're going to make some corrections and all that? Just curious about the logic there. Or the reasoning, the rationale. I listen to audiobooks while chilling and waiting for orders when I doordash. So next they'll be going to Belarus in 1937 in the midst of Stalin's purges, investigating several dead and missing persons. Oh man. Okay, interesting Vikings. Hey Voidum, how's it going? It's good to see you. We finished the first scenario, so we need something new to continue. Got it. That makes perfect sense, then. That looks like copper. Most of the reason that I went and went to the effort of creating the depth upgrades for this particular sea truck, the spare sea truck, it's not so much that I really feel I'm going to desperately need them. I've already got the other sea truck that's upgraded to be able to handle the crushing depths. It's just because I do intend to use this for things like this where I need to find materials and so I go out searching for it and I'm extremely likely to just flat out forget that I'm not using the other truck so it makes my life a little bit easier if I don't have to remember because it'll handle the same depth time I had to use one. There we go. That's my six silver. Hello. Bad fish. Okay, we should be able to go back now. Once we get into slightly safer waters, I need to hop out and fix this thing.
just spent a few minutes looking for my cat. He's hiding right behind your computer screen. Close but not visible. He seems to love that. <laughs> well, I mean, cats are natural ambush predators. That makes a lot of sense. It's also a big part of the reason why they like perch places that are up high. With a really good view of everything going on around them. closet next to my computer when he's been up there and I forgot then he suddenly jumps down right in front of me yep <laughs> that's a cat all right Okay, wiring kit. That's it. All right, we can go back now. so much of that. I'll just take a little bit. I guess we need to go back to the other bit on land as well at some point, because there's a whole facility there we need to visit too. In fact, actually, you know what? I just suddenly remembered that I'm reasonably certain that other facility is actually... Like, I was going to the overland stuff specifically to try and find... Uh, there's supposed to be a body part that you can find that's on land somewhere, and I'm like 99% certain, now that I remember, that it's going to be more in that area. Like the other area, not the one we're headed to now. So where... Oh, it's Omega Lab. Okay, let's make that green so it stands... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, Omega Lab. We're going to go there. It's kind of unfortunate that it's in precisely the opposite direction, but I guess we can survive that. So we really haven't done a whole lot of exploration there.
That doesn't look right, though. No, that can't be right. It's not Omega Lab. It's Outpost Zero. That looks much more correct. This looks like it. Yeah, there's the there's the thing. All right. Okay. This looks like about as good a spot as any. Maybe not. Interesting. Oh, hang on. I guess that could do. Snow Fox Mark Two. Let's see if I can ride this one for more than 30 seconds. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Color me shocked. Now, do I happen to have any... Oh, I've got salad. That'll do. God. Ugh. This is not exactly the most graceful vehicle. But you know what it does? It protects you from the elements, apparently, somehow. I don't exactly know how. I'm not going to question it, though. God, this is so freaking awkward. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, geez. Ooh. Can I get up there at all somehow?
Okay, seriously, what the heck? <laughs> okay, how are you supposed to get over there? What the heck? Wait. Whoa. Hang on. Why did nobody ever tell me there were Snow Fox add-ons too? It's a bike and it hovers, but I'm confused. Because you didn't know. I'm not sure I can accept that as an excuse, but I guess for now... I'll, I'll let it slide. Oh god, oh, oh, whew. okay, I was afraid I was stuck again. Alright. I'm not prone to motion sickness in video games, but my god, this could do it. Oh, I wonder if I can get up over there. Come on. Yes, I think this is doing it. Come on. There we go. believe that's done it. Okay. Of course, I may not be stuck here forever. stuck here forever. It kind of feels like there's a whole big piece of equipment or something that I'm lacking that I should have. Oh god. God, uh, where, oh, there we are, okay. I'm 
I'm starting to think it might not have been so terrible that I didn't have the snow fox working last time. Oh, wait a minute. There's a whole pathway here. What the what? How did I not notice this? Maybe this is the way you're intended to go. Who'd have thunk it? That looks like a thing. Two minute warning, guys. We have ads coming up again in about two minutes. And that will be tonight's final break. And man, it feels nice saying that when I haven't had to take like 10 or 12 breaks. Oh my god. They're so good at making the underwater vehicles. It's absolutely spoiling how good those underwater vehicles are. And then you have to drive this thing. Hey, they have a coffee station. Very nice. I don't think I can use it, but it's there. It's so nice not having like 20 breaks in a night. Tell me about it. I know. Trust me. Alan, what is this place? It is architect technology. Standard for my people. Well, nothing that your people do is standard to me. What is it? This facility provides the means for rapid travel. It seems to be inactive. Without a vessel of my own, this site is not of any great utility. I see. Okay, so it sounds like maybe it's a teleport chamber? I kind of want to run through it right now, but uh, we do have that break starting. Like, we'll explore. Yeah, that's a teleport um, thing, so. I'm going to take my break. I'll be up roughly five minutes or so, so if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now is, ooh, excuse me, now is a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. I'm not finding any ultimate weapons, although I got lots of other crap. No pun intended. I believe this is it. Oh, yeah, we got cave squids. Crab squids. No! 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 I said no. No! No, no, no. No! Go away! seconds of oxygen remaining and I just got the rebreather blueprint perfect oxygen I yeah um we might just barely make this but it's close ha in your face game it just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character Library with the potential Lord, for a few more a sequels, new viewer I wouldn't even consider it. Channel. Eld, please prepare Skull. a coffee seat for our guest. Thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate that. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... Live prey feeder unlocked.
rest of it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that was so close. Funny if he came here on his break and raided himself. That would be hilarious. We should try and make that happen. Greeny, if you're there, be prepared to raid yourself. So, let me get the raid started. Oh, oh we already... <laughs> you are there. How's it going, Greeny? look deep I might be able to help catfish thank you so much for coming in with the raid uh, how are you doing tonight what is going on thank you thank you thank you for entrusting your community to us thank you Pilicious. let me get you some shout outs here catfish uh, no that's wrong there we go Thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I really, really, really appreciate that. Folks, if you are brand new here, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every once in a while, I will throw in an actual real-world LEGO build as well. So if any of that sounds good to you, please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you all in properly as well. Hopefully that won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. Wow. 
There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you guys can expect around here. Thank you again so much, Catfish, for the raid. I really, really appreciate that. Welcome on in. And uh, thank you for asking. I am doing pretty good, Catfish. How are you? What were you up to this evening? Uh, you were playing that game. Okay, I hope that's treating you well. I hope everything is going all right for you. How's it going, JH? It's good, good to see you. I hope all is going well for you as well. So, let me see, um, we're poking around this alien facility, I don't know yet if there's a whole lot we can do here. Doesn't look like we can trigger the teleport gate, unfortunately. So it seems like maybe this is a place we have to come back to when Alan has his own body. That's kind of unfortunate, because I was thinking we were going to find part of that body. Or the materials to construct it, anyway. By coming here. Interesting that we can't scan the alien tech. Okay, so there's really not much we can do here then, by the looks of it. Oof. Oh god, please tell me I'm not trapped here. Nope, okay, we're alright. I'm really not super fond of this vehicle, actually. The Snow Fox is not really great. <sighs> There's got to be more here than just that, though. Because weren't they talking about a whole genetics lab or something? do much there, can I? I think I might deconstruct this and take it with me so I can use it in the other area. If I dare, I'm not sure that I necessarily want it to find out, I guess. I mean, on the one hand, it is nice protection from the elements, and it certainly gets you around Dangerous fast. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Color me shocked. But on the other hand, it's... It's weird how that one vehicle just has this way. Like, I don't actually get motion sick from it, but it's pretty close.
it is catfish. I am not super crazy about it. I mean, the vehicles that they make for use in the water, like the sea moth and the cyclops and the sea truck that you get in this game, they're great. I think this is the closest to devilish number I can get in a while. Or several, but good enough on that good streams that are way, way above and beyond, Crizzo. <laughs> Thank you so much, JH. I really appreciate the 66 months in a row. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing tonight? It's really good to see you. They just call it Morgan. Uh, I think it is pretty well intended to be Morgan Freeman's voice. I might try a different default voice, though, because that one seems to have some difficulty pronouncing some things, as much as I love Morgan Freeman's voice. They have a whole different selection of them. I used Narrator for a little while, and of course for a while I also had Brian, the default TTS, and now I've been trying Morgan. I, I might have to try some of the other options. Well, I, I honestly, I have some concerns about that, JH. I wonder if in these cases where they're using people's voices, do they actually get permission to use them? I don't know. As much as people have rights to their own voice, they absolutely do, J.H. That's the main cause of my concern. They absolutely do, and these companies that are going around, like there's another one, I don't use them at the moment. I've been thinking about it. I'm kind of thinking twice about it now. They go and they just they make basically voices on request of popular celebrities and characters, and... Yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before they end up getting sued. Okay, um... No, actually, I need to keep that with me, don't I? We're gonna go, and we're gonna build the new thing. We're gonna build the station over on that side. Finish considering your issues have come to haunt you? Oh no, that doesn't sound good, JH. Well, yeah, but that's the thing, though. It, it, I don't think that they're using impersonators. I think that they're actually sampling the people's actual voices. of this since I've got it. thinking outside of the service for sure, yeah. So I'm kind of keeping my eye on the whole situation. I want to see what happens. 
this whole thing with AI being able to accurately and very, very quickly replicate specific people's voices, that's a pretty new thing. It used to cost a lot of money and take a lot of time for people to be able to do that. I'm thinking of cases like Roger Ebert and Val Kilmer, people who lost their voices and had very distinctive voices and they got artificial voices to replace them. That used to be like a really big deal and very labor intensive. Now it's really trivial to do. And there's going to be legal repercussions. Looking at tags, I think you know very well the issue that keeps coming back to haunt me after I've been working full-time two to three years. Mm. Uh, well, I hope things get better. Okay. Battery, lubricant, oh, magnetite. I'm out of magnetite now, so that's a problem. I'm not getting another one until I get more of that. Then again, we can use the little penguin buddy to get more magnetite. It's usually locked behind one of their little sites. going. Some tech is getting scary good, yes. Yes, it is. At least this time you're getting more help, so there's hope. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you, man. time we were going this way, so let's keep going this way, actually. That is correct. It is the sequel, J.H. It was originally going to be an expansion, but it grew in scope to the point where they just made it a whole separate game. No problem. My pleasure. Before. That was one of the pepper plants. I thought we had snow cats in here.
Can it stop raining in my RimWorld game? It's rained for like 10 days straight now. It's not even a rainforest, just a temperate forest. Rain is good. I always encourage rain at every opportunity. I can kind of understand how you might get a little tired of it, though. here. I think it just decreases it, JH, but I am not 100% certain. that down there? Is there a shark in there? I'm not sure. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Oh, there's a thing. Things are bad. to save here. I enjoy rain in real life, but not when I have my campfire outside to cook, and it kills the campfire multiple times per day. Oh no. It's been a full season. You've only been able to mine 79 tiles. You could try building a roof over the campfire. <laughs> I need my pangling back.
And as I speak it, the rain finally lets up. There you go, Pilatius. Okay, maybe not the best place to start my uh, attempts at using the thing. Could probably have picked a better spot. Unfortunately, I'm not sure this is a better spot. You know, actually, it might be. Gotcha. Nope, not storage. Oh. Thanks, guy. Now we have to see if I can make my way back because I can finally craft that frickin' suit that will let me not lose all of my body heat so quickly. So I'm going to save again. Oh, it's happened a time or two, JH, but yes, that was us. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Same planet, just a different region.
Oh, you know what? I forgot. I don't need this. Uh, what was that? That's water. This isn't taking me where I think it's taking me. I think I recognize this. Shoot. This is where I just freaking came from. Okay, well... Let's see what's this way. That looks encouraging. That's the landing pad. We did it. Okay, now let me check my recipes here. Cold suit, so I need two fiber mesh and two snow stalker fur. Oh, how much? I need one for the gloves and one for the helmet. So I got exactly as much as I needed. Perfect, okay. I just want to make that freaking cold suit, and then we will um, see how things go from there. I didn't have to use too much in the way of salad. That's pretty good. I used a few, but not that much. What a name for a hostile clan, the Skunk Men. <laughs> nice.
Okay, we're almost there. Fiber mesh is pretty easy. That's just the uh, clippings from the the vines. And I think I've already got some of it made. In fact, I think it's on board the ship or the truck. Oh, I had kyanite here. Well, I've got a lot more of it. Oh well. I forgot that compartment had a compartment. And two more there. That'll probably cover me. No pun intended. Maybe a little intended. Cold suit. An insulated suit to provide protection from the cold. Made of tightly knit Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. <sighs> Thank you. There we go, we've got the full suit. And where are the gloves? Gloves, where are you? Oh, I'm already wearing them. Okay. Now, I don't know if you can swim in them? Yes, you can. Alright. I think that is some pretty awesome progress for tonight. Like, we're going to save it here and go find somebody to raid. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be playing tomorrow, but I will be back tomorrow. We might do some more Subnautica, especially since we're back on the progress train. But I also promised a friend that I would do an American Truck Simulator stream at some point. Plus, we talked earlier about Civilization. So, there's a few things that we could potentially look at doing. Thank you, J.H. I appreciate you and everybody else uh, who decided that, you know, despite having the option of doing pretty much anything you wanted, whatever you wanted, wherever you wanted on the internet or potentially off the internet, uh, you decided that this was a good place to spend your time and attention. So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. I could not do this without you guys. So let me get my list of awesome folks up and we'll see where we're going to go. Thank you, Pi. Thank you, Pilatius. Mm. And it felt so good not having to take breaks so often. Man, that was really nice. I really like that. That is a really good change. Okay, so... Mama C is on. She's playing some World of Warcraft. Palette Box is playing something called Scum, which I'm not familiar with. Danataj is playing some Dragon Age Origins. Been a while since we visited Dano. I'm just going up the list. I tend to scan in order from fewest viewers to most viewers. Ultra's on. Ultrasaurus is playing some SnowRunner tonight. Itray is still playing some Red Dead Redemption. Lunity's on, playing Wo Long Final or Fallen Wo Long Fallen Di Dynasty. I can talk, I swear. Simcopter is playing Kerbal Space Program, the first one, not the new one. 
That looks like that's about it for this evening. I think I know where we want to go tonight. I think we're going to go visit Ultra, if that's all right with you folks. She is a brand new mod in this channel, by the way. I just uh, gave her a sword earlier this evening. So let me get you her link. So you guys know Ultra. She needs no introduction. Actually, we do have a few newer people in here. So if you, by chance, don't happen to know Ultrasaurus, she's been a friend of the channel for a number of years now. She specializes in streaming strategy, like uh, simulation games specifically. So she does a lot of things like Snow Runner and American Truck Simulator. I said I promised a friend I would do a stream of that. Uh, Ultra is the one I promised. And I've played the game before. I've never streamed it before, but I've played it. So I know I enjoy it. Um... But yeah, she plays a lot of that kind of thing. She used to play a lot of dinosaurs. You might get the impression from her name that she's a little bit of a dinosaur fan. Uh, so yeah, she's a really good person, really, really good friend of the stream. And we're going to go raid her this evening She as she plays some SnowRunner. So let's go hang out with her and see what's going on in her channel and uh, with her gaming. And so, yeah. It started raining again. You'll be fine, Pilatius. Just build a new campfire. Make it undercover. You'll be all right. Yeah, Ultra with a sword. So watch out, guys. Uh, so let me get you her link. Did I? Oh, I already got you the link. Let me get you the raid call. So here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own you'd like to use, or maybe emotes from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Ultra's channel and see what's going on with her SnowRunner session. And I will see you over there, and I'll hopefully catch you back here tomorrow night as well. I don't know what we're going to be playing, if it's going to be Subnautica civilization maybe some ats or you know one of the other games that we've got on the go but whatever it is you know it's going to be a good time so hope to see you back so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night day evening whatever it is where you are in the world and i'll catch you again real soon bye for now crap he has a bad motivator here. Oh no! 66! <laughs> wow, that dramatic music cue! <laughs> 